Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. Here we are, back again with the MoveIt Model IR715-2 Internet Radio Receiver. In a previous episode, we've installed a proper antenna jack, and I am happy to report I hooked this up to the FM house antenna in my room, and the receiver works very, very well. We also, in that previous episode, tried to get some reception on DAB. Well, bad news. Did some research, and as it turns out, when they turned on the DAB Plus service, they also changed something about the classic DAB standard. So, this receiver is still able to find those DAB stations. However, it cannot decode the signals anymore. So, no more DAB on this thing, which is a bit of a shame. In this episode, we are going to do some more modifications, some more improvements. And this time around, we are going to start by changing some things about the power supply. It's a bit later now, and as you can see, we got a nice big toroidal power transformer inside of here that I once took out of a compact stereo system. Drilled a little hole into the bottom to mount the thing. That all went really well, I have to say. I had to slightly modify the original plug of that uh, transformer, and it would fit right onto the connector on the, uh, on the mains filter board. And uh, for this one, I cut off the original uh, plug off of the original connector and soldered on the new transformer. Now, uh, the original transformer is uh, 8 volts times 2 split rail. As I already said, it has this uh, rather strange uh, two-way half-wave rectifier. Uh, on the circuit board, interestingly, it says 7 volts, so that transformer right there is not, uh, not the one that belongs in here, apparently. Uh, this one, well, going by that, uh, this one is totally wrong, because it puts out 14 volts times 2. Um, this is, of course, the split rail um, output that uh, was once used by the amplifier chip of the compact stereo that this came out of. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. The additional voltage, of course, we have two voltage regulators on there, so the additional voltage um, just gets transformed into heat. And I will admit that's not exactly energy efficient, but oh well. Uh, now, why did I do this? Well, um, of course, the magnetical uh, radiation of these toroidal power transformers is not as strong as on the classic ones, so chances are uh, there is going to be a lot less hum being picked up by uh, the rest of the circuit. Um, however, that's not really the reason. The reason is to add some weight to this unit. I could have just as well put a stone into here, but uh, that's just a little bit too low-tech. Um, and, uh, well, we definitely did accomplish that aim, because the unit now is actually quite heavy. As I already said, we're going to have some more heat coming off of this. So, the next thing I'll do is I'll have to slightly modify this board right here um, to make sure that it will continue working. And it's the next day, and everything that had to be changed because of the new transformer has been changed. Let's take a look. Now, right here, of course, uh, since the input voltage is now higher, uh, the voltage regulators, as I already mentioned, will have to uh, burn off quite a bit more energy. So, I moved the heatsink from this voltage regulator over to this one, and it does get a little bit warm. Um, I guess this would still work without a heatsink. Would be okay, but better to be safe. 
the other voltage regulator and this one already became very 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 hot in the original condition it was quite crazy uh, that heatsink was really not big enough at all uh, this voltage regulator has been moved to the back and we have a big outboard heatsink that I installed as you can see and uh, that does get quite warm that does get quite warm so uh, it's definitely a good thing to uh, have a much bigger heatsink that is also mounted on the back of the unit so that it gets a little bit of a ventilation because the housing is sealed it doesn't have any ventilation holes so that has been taken care of of course also higher voltages change the capacitors on uh, on the uh, in between the voltage regulators and the transformer output um, original ones were rated for 16 volts these ones are rated for 25 volts and uh, the main filter capacitor I also upgraded from uh, what was that I think 2200 microfarads I changed that to uh, 4700 microfarads and there we have the internet radio receiver all hooked up in the main stereo system. Somewhat temporarily, this will need some rearranging, as you can no doubt see. Anyway, up there I still have my analog FM tuner made by Techniques. And it is a nice unit, um, however, problem is it does not have RDS reception. So when you tune into a random station, you'll have to wait until they uh, identify themselves in the regular program. Well, that's kind of annoying, so that's why this thing is very, very nice to have. And much more importantly, it can also receive internet radio. And, oh my god, I completely forgot how nice that is. Because, you know, most of the internet radio stations, they are music. Music only. No people talking, no advertisements, no station IDs, no jingles, no nothing. Just music. Non-stop for hours. So, um... The reason why I kind of uh, never really used this uh, internet radio receiver was because up until uh, up until now I had it always connected using Wi-Fi and uh, for one thing our Wi-Fi network is not the best basically if there were two people online and this thing was running uh, the the network was so overloaded that uh, the audio would uh, constantly cut out uh, the other thing is my parents insist on turning the Wi-Fi network off when nobody's using it. So each time you want to use the internet radio, you got to run downstairs, turn on the stupid router. Well, that has been fixed. Um, got a 10 meter Ethernet cable. Let's turn this on. It's all switched using... Uh, switchable power outlet the whole entire stereo system it boots up and uh, gotta switch it to the input and let's see there it goes no it does not go <laughs> uh, for some reason if you power this thing up it uh, it'll always just first say network timeout so I'll just try that again um, that's FM radio. Here we go with internet radio. Ah, oh, and isn't isn't that nice? I mean, imagine that going for hours without interruption. That is so nice. I love it. Of course, this thing can also act as a music player using the USB jack. And I just recently tried that for the first time. And very unfortunately, it'll only do MP3. It'll only play MP3 files. So that makes it kind of useless because the majority of my uh, music collection 
is in uncompressed wave and it just it just plain won't detect those files they are they are not there so that's kind of useless unfortunately but anyway there you have it thanks for watching